how to get this going, you know, this is a business. Yeah, because you can <laughs> rip up the tail of these uh, animals and it don't hurt them and it grows again. So you don't need only two leg ones, but switch up the tail, sell that and wait. Up. So uh, if you're hundred of them, you can, yeah, it's... Not a bad idea. I'm not sure I will be a customer, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe other people are, will be more interested. Maybe. Beautiful sunny day on the island of Sylt. Today we have here Sarah Ofringer and Nobby Rash again in the interview. Show no Nobby. Nobby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sarah, welcome. Thank you. You are the best windsurfer uh, from the women's uh, disciplines here in, uh, in Sylt who's competing. Um, What's your expectation here on the island for this event? Uh, yeah, well, before I came here, uh, I was in third place for the event, but then the Morena Twins didn't come, which put me kind of in the lead of the rankings. And um, my idea for Silt is always that I, I don't really have a plan or I don't have expectations because the, the conditions are unpredictable, you know? So you really never know what can happen. The shore break here is so massive and so strong. Like, even if you have a good heat, you have make one wrong decision, like your, your mask can be broken and you end up swimming, for example. So it's really unpredictable. All you can do is your best. And um, now that I won the single elimination, I really want to stay there. And um, it looks like Saturday we will do the double elimination. Um, so yeah, I'm staying focused on Saturday and I hope to, to come out as the winner and win the title also. Yeah, we saw it in the ladder, you competed against Lina. Mm -hmm. You win it or won it. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was very close. It not uh <coughs> on the other hand, uh, they reach I don't know ten points, twelve mm -hmm, points, mm -hmm. and, and but you reach around twenty, twenty three points. Mm -hmm. um <coughs> so, what's uh, who's the next uh, uh, against uh, you compete? Yeah, so I think in the single elimination, like for both Lena and I, the hardest that was the hardest heat for both of us. Um, so I'm happy that I came out on top. Then, yeah, in the double elimination, I'm just waiting for them to come up. So they're, um, Justina's in second, Lena's in third, and they need to wait for someone com coming up against them. So I'm not sure who I will compete against, but uh, if they, yeah, I will do my best. That's all I can say. You will do your best. You come from Aruba. Yes, sir. Where is this? Aruba is in the Caribbean. It's uh, very close to Venezuela, right off the coast from Venezuela. So from here, it's maybe like a 10 hour flight, oh. maybe more, 12. Or you're faster with the sail. So could, maybe. yeah, yeah, could do. <laughs> uh, how, how big is it? Uh, Aruba is uh, 30 kilometers long, seven kilometers wide, and we have uh, 120,000 people that live there. But it's windy all year, so it's good, uh, good for windsurfing. Yeah, is it uh, a more freestyle spot, or do you have waves? Uh, we have some waves there, but it's um, f for before I started my wave career, I was only doing freestyle and slalom because Aruba is very windy and it's flat water. So it's a really good place to learn how to windsurf and to improve in those disciplines. But then for wave sailing, I really had to start to travel to like Cape Town, Australia, Canary Islands to improve in that. So, um, But besides that, I think it's a really great place for, for water sports. Like when I'm home, I'm, I'm doing kiting, I'm doing windsurfing. I, I can go surfing also, just... To, it's not as great as here in Silt, for example. And uh, yeah, there's lots of things to do. Well, in one month, you will prefer Aruba for sure. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. In one week. <laughs> in one week huh? Yeah, I think the temperature will switch very quickly now in uh, October. Yes, the water, the water goes down. Um, yeah, uh, Jop, you want to join? A little bit here. Yop is, is it your neighbor island? Neighbor islands, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you can. I've known Yop since, <laughs> known Yop since he's uh, 12, I think, or 10 even. Yeah, probably. Yeah, when Very your hair young. was short. <laughs> yeah, my hair wasn't that long yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you train together sometimes? Well, not in Aruba. Like, I've been to Bonaire plenty times, and then I would sail with them. But, Yup, you have a very specific hour that you go sailing. You always go at, like, the end of the day. Yeah, I'm, I'm the sunset lover. Yeah. I'm, uh, or the sunrise lover. <laughs> and you go out when you wake up, eating breakfast, and then think about thinking, and then maybe... No, no, it's just, um, I think in Bonaire it's very windy in the morning. 
and then at the evening it also gets very windy but i i, I love sailing at sunset also but he goes when it's like almost dark you know so then you don't <laughs> see the trick that he's practicing so i think that's his tactic yeah yeah it's like a kind of like a secret training technique you know <laughs> everybody needs to get off the water before i get on mm -hmm. yeah and you have to brush your hair a few hours before you can go on the water that's maybe <laughs> yeah a lot a lot a lot a lot if not they're just dreadlocks up here <laughs> and i think for sarah that's very likewise <laughs> yeah today i have it under control <laughs> <laughs> if i met sarah first time you can't remember mm -hmm. uh you competed first time here on the island uh how old you have been there I think uh, 2007 was the first year I was here, maybe 2006, I don't know. But I was 15 when I came here the first year. It was so funny because you were not so big. You looked like a small girl. And I thought all the other guys were your, your, uh, your, your father or your, you know, your teacher. <laughs> but the adults was not, that was your competitor. So it's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, when I traveled here the first time was 2006 and my dad came with me. And uh, yeah, all the Bonaire boys were... I don't know if you were there that no, early, I, but... I was uh, too young. I was way too young. Yeah. I came in 2010. That yeah. was my first year and I was 15 years old as well. So uh, yeah, Sarah's a few years older than me. So <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, that generation must have been Tonki, Tati, Kiri, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, if we finish that event... Uh, You travel together back home, where's the next airport or you have parachute or what are you doing there? <laughs> well, just an airport. Yeah, we'll just fly to an airport. Um, but w now that you say parachute, I do want to jump out of a plane one day in my life. Never I would love do to do that. I would love to. I don't think I'm going to do it, but we'll see. I think that would be such a rush, such an adrenaline rush. Skydiving. Yeah. Yeah. I think about it a lot of times. You know, we have a skydive center in Aruba, and I yeah. think I do all these freestyle tricks, and I, I love this stuff. But um, I will never jump out of the plane. we can't even do it, so <laughs> I might even come to Aruba to yeah, do that for welcome. my first time. Yeah. Well, you, you you can try it uh, with a boat, and they lift you up. Oh, with the kite. Oh, parasailing. Parasailing. Yeah, yeah. This they used to have on Bonaire, but um, not anymore. Hmm. I've never done that either. Yeah. You can do it in Aruba. You're welcome to join. I hate flying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ten hours and oh no, that's crazy. You get you are professional, so you need to do it. But uh, oh, it's okay here. Zild is beautiful. We don't need we don't need more. Uh, we have everything here: water, electricity, something like this. Internet. Internet. Skydiving. Sky yeah. 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 We have a school here you can join at the airport. Can go there. Depends on the weather. Mm. So maybe after the World Cup. After the World <laughs> Cup. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, what uh, let's uh, ask him something about I don't know. <laughs> about yeah, how I don't did you ask did he ask you about the competition already here, how it went? I went okay. It was windy, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you only had to do the wave, but if you had to do freestyle out there, it was quite crazy being on your freestyle I board bouncing out there. Yeah. It was uh, it was radical, but it was a lot of fun though. You know what it I was think it's uh, probably one of my favorite days actually okay. from the last 10, 12 years a year or something. There you go. <laughs> no, but the competition was great, man. And I'm looking forward to this weekend. It's not over until it's over and we still got the double elimination to go. So it's going to be quite exciting, I think, this weekend because there's a lot of wind coming. And uh, I think the waves are also going to be a little bit bigger. Or at least that's what the forecast said. I don't know uh, the what the locals the, say. The, the forecast now is around 20 knots mm. on uh, Sunday, Saturday, same. Friday, no, Saturday it's uh, going up to 30 again, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, Friday and Sunday it's only 20. So it will be wave and freestyle again definitely, at the weekend. Definitely. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for it, man. For the freestyle, honestly, for me it was so unbelievably windy. I couldn't hold on to that 4 -oh. And all year I haven't been on that little sail, so it was like... Yeah, you have everything to. was like new on the water. It was unbelievable. Everything goes much quicker. You have to be like 
much more on it, no? Yeah, 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 exactly. And uh, yeah, just the sale response is just uh, un unbelievably quick, like you say. And you have to watch out to not over rotate your moves. Everything mm -hmm. uh, goes a little more crazy than it usually does. <laughs> yeah, one time you have uh, problems to come into the into the water again. Uh, yeah, one time, in actually in the final heat, unfortunately, I made one mistake. I ended up near the, what, what do you call it here, Bühne, the rocks? Bühne, uh, yeah. Bühne, there. I tried to go straight out there, but the wind is also dropping further down the coast. So I should have walked back up. But instead, I kept on trying and I ended up in a list almost. So yeah. it was a, yeah, <laughs> it was a tough battle. But, um, yeah, we're a strong current at the moment, yeah, especially strong. southwest winds or northwest winds. You have a crazy current. Yeah. <coughs> uh, what's your tea? My tea? Mm. Yeah, really good. I'm a tea lover and coffee lover. So You have already? I finished it, yeah. I ah, was you cold. finished so fast. I was cold, so. Oh, <laughs> uh, for me, I tried to go surfing yesterday a little bit, and I, I was hoping today would be better, but the tide is still a bit low. Um, but it looks like a lot of fun, so I will try to get out on the water, surf a bit. I went for a run to stay fit, okay. so uh, yeah, and enjoying the weather, I guess it's I nice. I wait for the for the low tide again because you have the second uh, sandbank, uh, sandbank yeah. over there. It's really good. Yeah. Um, now you go get some. The waves come directly, shore break, bam. It's not yeah. so much fun, but in the morning or in the evening. Okay. Follow him. Yeah, that's good to know. Sunset station. Yeah, sir. There we go. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, if you have any questions to each other? I know everything about you. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we know each other very well, actually. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Some things you can tell about her. Or do you have some <laughs> interesting about him? No. <laughs> no. Uh, no? Nothing. Hmm. How is it hmm. going with the kids project that you have in Bonaire? Is it still, you have, I don't know if you're still, the project is still running. Uh, yeah, it's a course. really cool one. Yeah, of course. Um, just for the viewers, um, lo long time ago when I came to the island together with my parents, my dad started a, a foundation for street children and um, support dropouts that drop out of school or might have even gone into jail and things like that and start an activity center for them um which might be anything w my specialty of course is windsurfing but they go diving or all other types of sports or aspects or jobs or whatever they can do they do it but um sometimes i'm a volunteer worker over there and we go windsurfing i take the kids along with me to the beach and uh we have great fun man and it keeps them off the street of course and um yeah it's a, it's a wonderful project that's working very well on the island and uh is still running well you teach them to repair board sails like you teach them a craft right uh, yeah exactly um the forza project uh, allows them to also learn things with their hands so for example board repair skills or sail repair skills they mm -hmm. learn that from me and uh yeah it's like this they can actually grow into a job doing that which is really cool for them and um, for me it, it's cool to keep him on the beach and see him on the beach and see him ride as much as possible on the water which is uh, which is really fun man really fun to see in, in Aruba you also do some uh, I clin clinics and yeah, stuff right? yeah I started to do I kids clinics yeah I enjoyed doing that but I think like the project that you have is something that I would like to do also in Aruba um, but yeah, I started with kids clinics, so then they don't only do windsurfing, but we take them to the beach and just for them to see like all the possibilities on the water. Like in Aruba at the huts, you have kite surfing, windsurfing, winging, parasailing, like you see all of this. So this is cool for these kids. And then uh, besides that, we do like beach cleanups so that they also think about the environment a little bit. They get to know, they make friends and yeah, I don't know, maybe like that they start windsurfing also, you know, and that's how for me, how I started windsurfing. It's just to go to the beach with your friends and enjoy being in the ocean. So, is it is, uh, it is it famous uh, in, in uh, Aruba windsurfing? Um, no, not as not as like not as much as in Bonaire. I would say, like for me, uh, me as a person in Aruba, I'm a very known person. But the sport itself is not as big. So um, yeah, I would like hopefully in the future to work a bit more on that and get more kids to go on the water as well. So someday, someday. Great. Yeah. Yeah, it's always good to see our future generation get out there, you know. Um, 
on Bonaire there's a lot of up and coming kids and uh, that, that's so cool to see and especially when we from the island come back to um, our island I really see that that has like a, I don't know a certain impact on them uh, for them to when I come back on the island you I learned a new trick I want to show you it mm -hmm. things like that you yeah. know which is so cool and uh, I, I really enjoy that part of the, the sport as well the that surfing community <laughs> uh, you are also well known on Don Air because it's a small small it's smaller it's only 20 20,000 people you told us um, if you come back to Aruba the major is there with a uh, with flowers and everybody's cheering because you win before you yes <laughs> now they got used to it so they don't do it anymore <laughs> yeah okay. they stopped uh, 10 years ago <laughs> yeah, because you, you get I, I think eight or nine titles in a row something like this I think. 13 from more, yeah. in a row <laughs> Thir 13 19 <laughs> every year every year Since so it's boring yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they get too used to Sarakita just winning and winning and yeah I think so <laughs> yeah but it's good like you get a lot of support from the people on the island you know everywhere yeah. I go like to the grocery store if I take some gas for the car there's always people supporting me so this <laughs> so is a nice is thing everything for free no, not everything for free, definitely <laughs> not, but uh, yeah, I don't know. People, yeah, people appreciate you, so that's nice. Yeah, I guess um, Aruba is a lot bigger than Bonaire too, yeah. you know, there's a lot more inhabitants and um, I think Sara's much more of a rock star than we are, man. Yeah? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah net, we check your net worth, uh, so you are 1.5 billion dollars worth. On Wikipedia or? Yeah, million. something like <laughs> media. Million. Billion. Billion? Million. Million. It's a little different. Ah, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Billion, million. <laughs> but it it's was the first lot of thing that came up when we put in your name. Yeah, I wonder what the source is. Where no, you it's got like it from. three sources, first thing. Yeah. We should <laughs> do it with you. <laughs> no one nowhere here. Yeah, put in you. Put in you. Yeah. yeah. Net worth. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't see this before. Uh, the first thing that appeared. Did you guys actually Google that? Yeah. Yeah, no, we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah but you no, can no, Google no, no. from anyone. You find yeah. it yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't. It's probably no. not accurate anyway. But no, no, yeah, mine is around <laughs> with no 200 one. euros, I think, or maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't uh, search it. No, like we didn't, we search, didn't it. search it. We didn't search Kita net worth, but we, we found it. Sarah, Sarah Kita, and then there was like net worth the first three. Yeah. So that's so cool. So Maria has a question. <laughs> Marianne has a question. Yes, do you favorite sport in the world? Do you, what do you like for your sport? A favorite sport? Yeah. Uh, windsurfing. Windsurfing. Yes, uh, which place in the world do you so like? Oh, which place? Um, <coughs> silt. <laughs> Sorry guys, silt. Have to have to say <laughs> silt. Huh? Yeah, silt yeah. first. But, but Bonaire is a pretty lovely place, guys. You gotta check that out. Yeah. Aruba's pretty too. Aruba's nice. In the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, weather, okay. For you? Uh, I mean, the Caribbean for sure. Bonaire has always been one of my favorite places. Aruba's home, so that will definitely be on top. But um, from traveling, I think Cape Town is a very amazing place also. Just yeah. all the, the variety of the place is incredible. And last question. The most donkeys over of Bonaire? The most what? Oh. Donkeys. Donkeys? Yeah. Bonaire. Bonaire? Bonaire? Yeah. I, are more wild donkeys at least. Like, yeah. Lot in flamingos. Bonaire. Bonaire. Yeah. Uh, you have, you know, in Germany in the moment we have our every newspaper is full of oh there are so new animals here in the country. We have this Nos Nosferatu spider and something like this. <laughs> but uh, you, uh, you have big spiders, sharks, snakes. What? what no, luckily what? not. Um, in Brazil, there's some big spiders. Oh mm -hmm. my God. I came in the bathroom one time and there was <laughs> a, a spider like the size of this in the toilet. Oh. It was huge. But on Bonaire, luckily, no. No uh, no snakes, no spiders, um, not, nothing too crazy. No, no. Aruba also not. Crazy. <laughs> this is what people think in Europe. <laughs> no, only, only in Australia. <laughs> Australia, yeah. Australia has the scariest animals. Yeah, insects, huh? Yeah. Animals in general, I guess. Yeah. Mm, Everything will kill you there. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Everything can kill you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. And here in Silt, 
anything dangerous that can kill you? Uh, <laughs> the beer. The, the beer. <laughs> the, the tax the can kill you tanks. here for sure. Um, no, we have a strong current, a current yeah, yeah. in the water. Mm -hmm. This is for tourists. It's very, very hard to, you know, they go there where the water is not so much waves, but this is where the current is. It's strong, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know, no spiders, no snakes, no sharks. We have a lot of, uh, we call them Schweinswale. I don't know, it's a, it's a kind of dolphin. If you go out, you have to, you see them. I haven't seen them. Are they dangerous? Size. No, they are very, they seals. always. No, not seals. Seals we have also, yeah. but uh, uh, Schweinswale, I don't know. It's kind, of royal, it's kind, uh, kind of royal. Kind of royal. It's often we go out with the board and then they're coming in. Mm. <laughs> and they are looking. Yeah, it's a school, you know, about four or five. And they make circles around you on the board. Yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <they're laughs> That's sick. And we have all those seals. They're coming up, looking. And they also jump on the board. Yeah, I've heard some stories from some guys over here. You got to watch out for the seals. Scary. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't say, hey, you because <laughs> if you are afraid for a pit bull, what is only 50 kilos, <laughs> these are also <laughs> 250 kilos and if they bite, mm. you are done. <laughs> yeah, there's no joke with these seals, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is careful. Watch out then. Okay. So, and you have a uh, a lot of uh, uh, dates here on the island, you have to go there to interview and blah, or is it is it okay for you? At the moment it's okay, but it, uh, it can get busier. Can like get busy. Today is a busy day, I would say. Yeah, so. yeah with no wind being around, yeah. all the brands want to ask you to do something, of course. No, yeah. And um, of course we want to be here with Surf Magazine Silt, yeah. you know? And yeah, that's just how the day flies by, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it goes really fast. You get a crap in between a coffee. Mm -hmm. and, and then at 6 o'clock, <laughs> no, time to go to the happy hour. You, you really eat crap and crap crap? No, crap, uh, pancake crap. The, the pancakes. Yeah, yeah. but you, you are sportler, sportler. Yeah, but with the uh, crap with the uh, apple mousse, with the uh, Zimtun <laughs> Zucker. <laughs> it was my favorite thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. But but what what do you eat before the you eat nothing before competition? Yeah. No, I need I need a heavy breakfast, man. Heavy I, breakfast. I need to eat some eggs. I need to eat a, a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm a heavy guy when okay. it comes to breakfast. And what about you, Sarah? What I you? I get very nervous. I cannot eat so much. I mm -hmm. eat like a little bit of oatmeal, but then the rest of the day maybe like a banana or something. But well, that's I'm it. Too you don't get to like eat. hungry. I get hungry, but like even if I want to eat, like I cannot. So yeah, she's not the slalom guy, you know. Yeah. No, but when I'm saying <laughs> slal, yeah, yeah, it's just competition <laughs> nerves. <laughs> nervous. You don't have to be because you always win. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> or you win because you are nervous. Maybe, so yeah. If you if you lose this, maybe. Yeah, it's good to be it. nervous. I would say because then you really want to do your best. Yeah, so. it's healthy. Yeah. Someone told me when you're not nervous, then uh, then you don't care. So. Yeah. Yeah. How many seasons you want to run the PWA? If you have any plans. Me, I don't know, maybe like three, four, five more years or something. It's still mm. fun. I enjoy it. So yeah, and yeah, then it's a good what's life. What's the plan after? I, I'm bad Opening with, with Yop, a surf school. Can do. Yeah, <laughs> we can do like a Aruba Bonaire connection. That yeah. would be actually a good idea to do. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. But you will be something into the development of the, with the brands or. I have no idea. I'm not think. I haven't been able to think so far ahead. I think. Yeah. You? Yeah, at the moment the focus is just that competing and, and being where we are right now, I guess. But uh, of course, it's always nice to dream ahead, mm. you know. But uh, yeah, certainly on my island, for example, the, the project we are doing with the kids, things like that, you know, things like that will never stop, I think, to keep inspiring the next generation, to push them out there and uh, to have some, of course, some new guys coming out from Bonaire as well. As I looked up to, for example, uh, Tonki, Atati, Akiri, also Sarah, of course, you know, that, that that's what motivated me, that brought me here, you know. And now being that for the generation to come from Bonaire is, is very cool. And I hope to 
to be able to push that next generation youth to come out because the windsurfing sport at the moment is after the pandemic we just have to be very realistic it's a struggle you know and uh, at the same time the level is still so high you know so it's it's really hard for the new generation to to, to come out for in my vision in my eyes and um, yeah I, I'd like to push that and I like to be there for them and th that's really cool did you tell her about our new company that we want to make? no no you should <laughs> you have an idea, a brilliant idea. Yeah. Something that could be changing the world. Can I be part of it or would it definitely I don't know. I don't know. Should we say? Because uh, I think yeah, it's gonna yeah, only okay. be a profit, no? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think about uh, fast food and uh, think about now we are going from the island. Mm -hmm. And the end of November, we go to the uh, next train station behind the island and we own the farm then. And we need something that we, uh, yeah, that we can breed. Is correct? We breed? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, you're coming up with a good idea what we can do. Mm -hmm. Tell her. You can't remember the Leguan thing? Uh, yeah, the <laughs> Yeah. They were very interested about iguanas. Yeah. You know, and I started telling them we eat the iguanas, you mm -hmm. know. It it tastes almost better than chicken. You it's know. Better than chicken. And, and and that really opened his eyes. He was okay. he was like, No, now we gotta get this going, you know, this is a business. Yeah, because you can rip, <laughs> rip up the tail of these uh, animals and it don't hurt them and it grows again. So you don't need only two leg ones, but switch up the tail, sell that and wait after <laughs> So uh, if you're hundred of them, you can, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what do you think? I, I don't like iguanas. So no, why? I don't like iguanas. It's like soup. chicken. Yeah, I'm not sure I will be a customer, but <laughs> 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 maybe other people are will be more interested. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe McDonald. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> iguana burger. <laughs> <laughs> iguana burger. <laughs> wow, it's like this Forrest Gump thing. <laughs> Make Lego one. Make Lego one. Yeah. So now everybody's googling Lego one. Yeah, time. probably. And don't worry, guys. We're very friendly with animals. Don't think we're no. about to <laughs> do some we animal. We give licenses to the people. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just joking. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I right. think today we knows? will not have any competition. So, um, I leave you now into your free time. Thank you. Thank you for so having um, us. And you will come uh, on your birthday back to Aruba, or you stay one day uh, stay one day longer. My no, birthday. I'm sorry, Fourth of July. I'm My birthday is in July. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. Almost. Very close. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <I> <laughs> the 4th of October. Ab Moderation. Ab Moderation. Okay, we say bye. All right. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>